Grandmaster, Wikipedia Audio The title Grandmaster is awarded to chess players by the World Chess Organization FIDE. Apart from World Champion, Grandmaster is the highest title a chess player can attain. Once achieved, the title is held for life. The abbreviation IGM for International Grandmaster is also sometimes used, particularly in older literature. The title of Grandmaster, along with the lesser FIDE titles of International Master and FIDE Master, is open to both men and women. The vast majority of Grandmasters are men, but a number of women have also earned the GM title with the first three having been Nona Gaprindashvili in 1978, Maya Chiburdanej in 1984 and Susan Polger in 1991. Since about 2000, most of the top ten women have held the GM title. There is also a woman grandmaster title with lower requirements awarded only to women. History FIDE awards separate Grandmaster titles to composers and solvers of chess problems. The International Correspondence Chess Federation awards the title of International Correspondence Chess Grandmaster. The first known use of the term Grandmaster in connection with chess was in an 1838 issue of Bell's Life, in which a correspondent referred to William Lewis as our past Grandmaster. Lewis himself later referred to Philidor as a grandmaster, and the term was also applied to a few other players. The top players of the day, world champion Mikhail Botvinnik, and those who had qualified for the inaugural candidates tournament in 1950, Isaac Boleslavsky, Igor Bondarevsky, David Bronstein, Max Yawi, Ruben Fine, Salo Flor, Paul Kears, Alexander Kotov, Ander Lilienthal, Miguel Nadorf, Samuel Rayshevsky, Vasily Smyslov, Gideon Sda Yen Helberg, and Lazla Superscript 3 Saba Superscript 3, players still living who, though past their best in 1950, were recognized as having been world class when at their peak, Ossip. Bernstein Olda Trademark Itch Duras, Ernst Gra 1 4th Enfeld, Boris Kostia, Grigory Levin Fish, GA Copyright ZA Mara Superscript 3 CZY, Jacques Mises, Vyacheslav Ragazin, Akiba Rubinstein, Friedrich S. Amisk, Savieli Tartakower, and Milan Vidmer. In the Ostend tournament of 1907 the term Grandmaster was used. The tournament was divided into two sections, the Championship Tournament and the Masters Tournament. The Championship section was for players who had previously won an international tournament. Siegbert Tarash won the Championship section, over Karl Schlechter, Daud Janowski, Frank Marshall, Amos Byrne, and Mikhail Chigorin. These players were described as grandmasters for the purposes of the tournament. The San Sebastia N 1912 tournament won by Akiba Rubinstein was a designated grandmaster event. Rubinstein won with 1 2 a 1 half points out of 19. Tied for second with 12 points were Aaron Nimzowitsk and Rudolf Spielmann. By some accounts, in the St. Petersburg 1914 chess tournament, the title Grandmaster was formally conferred by Russian Tsar Nicholas II, who had partially funded the tournament. The Tsar reportedly awarded the title to the five finalists, Emmanuel Lasker, Josa Copyright Rodigriel Capablanca, Alexander Olekhein, Siegbert Tarash, and Frank Marshall. Chess historian Edward Winter has questioned this, stating that the earliest known sources that support this story are an article by Robert Louis Taylor in the June 15, 1940, 
issue of the New Yorker and Marshall's autobiography My Fifty Years of Chess. Before 1950, the term Grandmaster was sometimes informally applied to other world-class players. The FA Copyright de Copyright Ration Internationale des A per Thousand Checks was formed in Paris in 1924, but at that time did not formulate criteria on who should earn the title. In 1927, the Soviet Union's Chess Federation established the title of Grand Master of the Soviet Union, for their own players, since at that time Soviets were not competing outside their own country. This title was abolished in 1931, after having been awarded to Boris Verlinsky, who won the 1929 Soviet Championship. The title was brought back in 1935, and awarded to Mikhail Botvinnik, who thus became the first official Grand Master of the USSR. Verlinsky did not get his title back. 1. Any world champion is automatically awarded the GM title, 2A. Anyone who scores at least 40% in a quarter-final match in the candidates' tournament, 2B scores at least the number of points in a tournament corresponding to the total of a 55% score against Grand Masters plus 75% against International Masters plus 85% against other players. When FIDE reorganized after World War II it adopted regulations concerning the award of international titles. Titles were awarded by a resolution of the FIDE General Assembly and the Qualification Committee. FIDE first awarded the Grand Master title in 1950 to 27 players. These players were Since FIDE did not award the Grand Master title posthumously, world-class players who died prior to 1950 including world champions Steinitz, Lasker, Capablanca, and Alec Hein, never received the title. 1 AA Euro at least 16 players, at least 50% are GMS, and 70% at least IMS, 1 BA Euro at least 12 players, at least 3 3 A, percent GMS and 70% IMS, 2 AA Euro at least 15 players, at least 50% IMS, 2 BA Euro 10 to 14 players, at least 50% IMS. Early Tournament Use Title awards under the original regulations were subject to political concerns. Efim Bogoljabov, who had emigrated from the Soviet Union to Germany, was not entered in the first class of Grand Masters, even though he had played two matches for the World Championship with Alec Hein. He received the title in 1951, by a vote of 13 to 8 with five abstentions. Yugoslavia supported his application, but all other communist countries opposed it. In 1953, Fide abolished the old regulations, although a provision was maintained that allowed older masters who had been overlooked to be awarded titles. The new regulations awarded the title of International Grand Master of the FIDE to players meeting any of the following criteria. After FIDE issued the 1953 title regulations, it was recognized that they were somewhat haphazard, and work began to revise the regulations. The FIDE Congress in Vienna in 1957 adopted new regulations, called the FAV system, in recognition of the work done by international judge Giovanni Ferrantes, Alexander, and Giancarlo Dal Verm. Under the 1957 regulations, the title of International Grand Master of the FIDE was automatically awarded to the regulations also allowed titles to be awarded by a FIDE Congress on recommendation by the Qualification Committee. Recommendations were based on performance in qualifying tournaments, with the required score depending on the percentage of Grand Masters and International Masters in the tournament. 
concerns were raised that the 1957 regulations were too lax. At the FIDE Congress in 1961, GM Milan Vidmer said that the regulations made it possible to award international titles to players without sufficient merit. At the 1964 Congress in Tel Aviv, a subcommittee was formed to propose changes to the regulations. The subcommittee recommended that the automatic award of titles be abolished, criticized the methods used for awarding titles based on qualifying performances, and called for a change in the makeup of the qualification committee. Several delegates supported the subcommittee recommendations, including GM Miguel Nadorf who felt that existing regulations were leading to an inflation of international titles. At the 1965 Congress in Wiesbaden FIDE raised the standards required for international titles. The International Grandmaster Title Regulations were To fulfill requirement 2B, the candidate must score one GM norm in a Category 1A tournament or two norms within a three-year period in two Category 1B tournaments, or one Category 2A tournament and one Category 1B tournament. The categories of tournaments are since FIDE titles are for life, a GM or IM does not count for the purposes of this requirement if he had not had a GM or IM result in the five years prior to the tournament. Non-standard and Soviet usage before 1950 Official status In addition, no more than 50% plus one of the players can be from the same country for tournaments of 10 to 12 players, or no more than 50% plus two for larger tournaments. Eligible tournament formats, eligible participants, unrated participants, registration of tournaments with FIDE, calculations, including the handling of fractions. 1953 Regulations 1957 Regulations 1965 Regulations 1970 Regulations Honorary Grand Masters 74 GM titles were awarded in 1951 through 1968. During that period, 10 GM titles were awarded in 1965, but only one in 1966 and in 1968. 1977, Julio Balbocha N., Esteban Canal, Borislav Milia, Carlos Torre Repetto, 1981, Arnold Denker, 1982, Ludwig Prince, Rodigriel Sanguinetti, 1983, Vladimir Alatertsev, Alexander Konstantinopolsky, Eric London, 1984, Eero Baak, Stohan Puc, 1985, Harry Golombek, Mario Monticelli, Jaroslav A. Achter, 1986, Arthur Dake, Theodore Giapoundescu, 1987, Vladimir Makaganov, Vladas Mika Nas, Bogdan Liwa, 1988, George Koltanowski, 1990, Andrija Fuderer, Rudolf Maria, 1991, Dragalja Minia, 1992, Heinz Lehman, Rudolf Teschner, 1993, Jonathan Penrose, 1996, Caroli Hanfi, Enrico Pauli, 1999, Pa Copyright Turdeli, 2003, Elma Ars Zemgalis. The modern system for awarding FIDE titles evolved from the Der Razel proposals, presented to the 1970 Ziegen Chess Olympiad FIDE Congress. The proposals were put together by Dr. Wilfried de Razel and fellow committee members Grandmaster Svetosar Gligoria and Professor Arpad Elo. The recommendations of the committee report were adopted in full.
Sunux, N, The Encyclopedia of Chess, St. Martin's Press, ISBN 978-0-7091-4697-1 In essence, the proposals built on the work done by Professor ELO in devising his ELO rating system. The establishment of an updated list of players and their ELO rating enabled significantly strong international chess tournaments to be allocated a category, based on the average rating of the contestants. For instance, it was decided that Category 1 status would apply to tournaments with an average ELO rating of participants falling within the range 2251A Euro 2275. Similarly Category 2 would apply to the range 2276A Euro 2300 etc. The higher the tournament category, the stronger the tournament. Current Regulations Another vital component involved the setting of meritorious scores for each category of tournament. A player must meet or surpass the relevant score to demonstrate that they had performed at Grand Master or International Master level. Scores were expressed as percentages of a perfect maximum score and decreased as the tournament category increased, thereby reflecting the strength of a player's opposition and the relative difficulty of the task. Tournament organizers could then apply the percentages to their own tournament format and declare in advance the actual score that participants must achieve to attain a GM or IM result. To qualify for the Grand Master title, a player needed to achieve three such GM results within a rolling period of three years. Exceptionally, if a player's contributory games totaled 30 or more, then the title could be awarded on the basis of two such results. There were also circumstances where the system could be adapted to fit team events and other competitions. The full proposals included many other rules and regulations, covering such topics as From 1977 until 2003 FIDE awarded honorary Grand Master titles to 31 players based on their past performances or other contributions to chess. Since 2007, no distinction has been made between an honorary Grand Master and a full Grand Master. The following players have been awarded honorary Grand Master titles. The requirements for becoming a Grand Master are somewhat complex. A player must have attained an ELO rating of at least 2,500. In addition, at least two favorable results from a total of at least 27 games and tournaments involving at least three other Grand Masters, including some from countries other than the applicants, are usually required before FIDE will confer the title on a player. There are other milestones a player can achieve to get the title such as winning the Women's World Championship, the World Junior Championship, or the World Senior Championship. Current regulations can be found in the FIDE Handbook. In 1957, there were 50 GMS. In 1972, there were 88 GMS with 33 representing the USSR. The current FIDE ratings list includes over 1,000 Grand Masters. Nigel Short was rated the third best player in the world in 1989 with a rating of 2650, in the 21st century such a rating would only be good enough for a player to reach the top 100 or so, with the third best player in the world usually rated around 2800. Other minor factors come into play. There are more tournaments worldwide and cheaper air travel makes them more accessible to globe-trotting chess professionals, who include many players from the former Soviet Union and Eastern Europe whose movements are no longer restricted as they were before the 1990s. Additionally, players can make norms in tournaments that would have been previously considered too short for norms, 
making norms easier to get and allowing for more norm tournaments to be held. Title Inflation December 2008 saw a record number of GMS and IMS, causing some FIDE officials to suggest that FIDE should consider an elite grandmaster title. The unofficial title Super Grandmaster is sometimes used by players to refer to those with a 2700 plus rating to distinguish the most serious world champion contenders. The proportion of titled players among rated players is actually becoming smaller due to the rise in the number of all chess players worldwide who have FIDE ratings. In response, one member of the FIDE Titles and Ratings Committee observed that it is now more common for weaker players to get FIDE ratings, so the comparison of Grandmasters as a proportion of all rated players is not really helpful. Bibliography <laughs>